Police officer Carrie Orozco is still on the minds of many. There has been an overwhelming show of support for the officer killed in the line of duty. One woman is using her hands to stitch tributes in memory of Officer Orozco. KMTV Action 3 News reporter Kelly Bartnick shares her story. You know, what's four evenings to have this there for her memory? Sandy Petrie's papillion home is filled with thread and held together by it. Petrie's family is wrapped up in it too. And then what we'll do is then we'll start laying them out to see how, how are they going to look. Sandy is on a four-day sewing spree. Used t-shirts most people would throw away are getting new life, one square at a time. As you would wash them, they fray more, so they look like they're a rag. They're called rag quilts, but this patchwork is precious. You might even say priceless. That saying, go ahead and get them pinned to the back of this backing. This weekend, her work will go up for auction in quilts honoring slain Omaha police officer Carrie Orozco during a family fundraiser. Police donated so many shirts that a plan to make one quilt turned into four. It makes me feel good. It makes me feel good that, one, that people cared enough to give me the shirts, and two, that they trusted me. They don't know me. They just know that I want to make some t-shirt quilts, a rag quilt to donate to a fundraiser. This is why. Here's a picture of Sandy's granddaughter, Sydney, wrapped in her own quilt. It was taken two days before Sydney went off to treatment for a rare childhood cancer. It's the first quilt Sandy ever made. I said, I need a t-shirt from everybody in the family, and we're going to put this quilt together, and we're going to send it with her. So on her days that she's missing us or she... She could hug herself with all of us. All of us will hug for her. So many people helped with her granddaughter. Sandy has now made doing good deeds a regular habit. She donates time and effort to all kinds of special causes, like the one laid out before her now. You know, what's four evenings to have this there for her? You know, her memory, her legacy. Everybody says she's going to have a legacy. Well, she is. The funny thing about fabric is it's made from thread. So thin, but so strong when it comes together. Kind of like how people create community one stitch at a time. I want people to smile. We all know that it, it was a tragedy, and it is a tragedy, but I totally believe that some goodness will come out of it. Kelly Bartnick. Something good is going to happen. KMTV Action 3 News. Sandy's granddaughter will soon be going for her checkup. If all goes well, doctors will consider her to be in remission. You can see Sandy's quilts on display and bid on them at the Officer Orozco Benefit at Ralston Arena on Sunday.